So with CBO, Facebook will react to the performance of each of your ad sets. It will then adjust your ad spend more or less per ad set to get the most results. In short, CBO allows you to set a centralized campaign budget to be distributed algorithmically across all the ad sets within a campaign. That's a difficult word, algorithmically. Whereas ad set budget optimization in ABO will continue to spend your set budget to get you the most results. This is something that people don't understand how to utilize quite well. And there are some major differences. I can tell you that when I recorded the Facebook master's course, which believe it or not, it seems to be about two and a half years now. Uh, am I right, Ernesto? April 2018. Uh, two and a half years or so now. Wow, incredible. When I recorded that course, I was talking about CBO already. And Facebook kept talking about CBO. And they were pushing towards, that's what April 2018, they had said that in January 2019, everything was moved over to CBO automatically and there was no ABO. They were, they were doing away with it. That's what they said. It was gonna be all campaign budget optimization. They actually got uh, the idea later on that that was not a good idea. So they removed that whole thing. And right now we don't really know what's gonna happen, but I think they realize that there is value on both sides. They haven't announced that publicly, but we in the marketing world, we know there is value on both sides. One of them is not better than the other one. They need to be used for different purposes at different times, and they both need to be used. And every single ad account should have, any given day, CBOs and ABOs running. And I'm gonna go over that detail right now with you guys, but I wanted, I wanted you guys to know that because if you don't know this, you're probably going to be just running CBOs all the time or the other way around. So we wanna fix that. So what is a campaign budget optimization? What is it, how it works? Pros and cons of using uh, CBO. And then we're gonna talk about what is the ad set, also known as ABO, budget optimization. When to use ABO, pros and cons of using ABO. And then we're gonna do a live demonstration on CBO and ABO. Okay, so campaign budget optimization is a way of optimizing the distribution of a campaign budget across your campaign's ad sets. This means Facebook automatically and continuously finds the best available opportunities for results across your ad sets and distributes your campaign budget in real time to get those results. Okay, so let's define whereas, uh, let's define ad set budget optimization. It's a way of manual distribution of a campaign budget across your campaign's ad sets. This means Facebook will aim to spend the allocated budget per ad set audience, no matter what the result will be. So let's, uh, let's do a um, diagram of this very quickly here. So if we have a CBO, this is what happens over here. There is one campaign. And let's say this campaign is, I am looking for leads. We're doing lead ads. That's the objective. We want identities, we want phone numbers, we want emails, that's what we want. Well, if we're doing a CBO campaign, we are putting several ad sets inside. That could be anywhere from two to 75, maximum 75. You wouldn't do 75 unless you have millions of dollars in budget, honestly, because otherwise Facebook is gonna end up getting confused and they're not gonna help you find a winner and it's gonna become a mess. You definitely don't wanna do that. But you could do up to 75 audiences. There's a couple of um, important differences here. Number one, the budget is assigned over here. Let's say that we're doing $1,000 a day. You don't put the budget here on every audience. This is a person here. This is another person here. Rob, stop making fun of me. This is another one over here. This one is drunk. Okay, and this one is over here. It's an audience, okay? And this one over here, that one looks more like an animal, right? This one at the bottom. Okay, so let's say that on the CBO, you have a million here, 1.2, 
0 0.5. Those are the audience sizes. Facebook is not going to split the money evenly across these. CBO is going to spend the money where Facebook considers they can get the most results. Now, sometimes most results are most expensive. It's just higher volume. They, you don't get to tell Facebook what you consider to be most results. Sometimes when you go over here on this one with a million, you might get 78 results and you might be paying $7.48. And then on this one that has 1.2, you might have 17 results at $4.51. And then at this one over here, you might have 24 results at $6.50 and so on. And then this one over here, this half a million, might get four results at $12. Generally, Facebook is going to push a volume. So if they see you getting results on this one over here, they're going to redirect most of the budget to this one over here. You're using the algorithm instead of letting Facebook, um, if, instead of you optimizing how much you want to spend on each one, you're letting Facebook determine how much they're going to be spending on every single ad set. So at the end of the campaign, maybe this campaign over here spent only $48. And this one over here spent $1,000 in the process of a week with a $1,000 a day budget. They don't balance it out. The CBO determines for you. Whereas the ABO, and, and these terms are explained on the Facebook Masters, ad set budget optimization. Remember, ad set is the middle of the pack, right? So you have, you have three levels. One, two, three. This is the campaign. This is the audience and budget. And other things like the bid strategy, etc. And then this one is the ad itself over here. So the ABO is ad set budget optimization. So what it does is that you create a campaign. And again, you're looking for leads. You're doing a lead gen campaign. And you're gonna plug in as many audiences as you want. And on this one, you're gonna tell that you wanna spend $10 a day. And on this one, you can tell that you wanna spend $1,000 a day. And on this one, you can tell them that you're gonna spend $500 a day. You can optimize the budget on every individual audience over here. And what Facebook is going to do is that it's gonna spend the money on every single audience. They're gonna spend it. They're not gonna question your judgment. They're gonna go ahead and spend that money. You can get actually over here, $500 spent every day and get leads for $1, and 74 cents and spend $500. And on this one, you might get a thousand leads for $7 and 84 cents and spend a thousand dollars. Does this make sense? It doesn't because you're, you're missing out on the opportunity of instead of doing this, why not just move it to 1500 over here and cancel this one because this one is draining you. This one is costing you seven times more than what the other one is costing you. But since you're running an ABO, you don't let Facebook run it for you. They don't optimize for you. If that was an ABO, Facebook puts most of the money here. They keep on putting all the energy here. And at the end of the day, the budget is going to be slanted in that direction into that particular audience over there. So you see, there's some major differences between one or the other. So that being said, let's go over where do we use each one, okay? So here's a visual representation, with and without. So without CBO, so you got a campaign. This is the basic one that, that Facebook actually has on their site. So you got ads of one, two, and three, $10 each one. Total conversions, 10 conversions. $10 here, 
$10 here, $10 here. On this one, we got three conversions, two, and this one we got five conversions. So this is a winner. Even though this one spent the same money, it got a lot more leads than the other ones. That's without CBO. With CBO, you see, same free ad sets, but instead of that, we got total conversions 15, and this one spent $5, this one spent $7, and this one spent $18. Why did, why did this one spend so much more? I'm talking about, we're talking about more than half, more than double what the other one spent, because this one had a lot more leads over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten when this one only had free leads for $7. So the cost per lead was way, way cheaper here at a much higher volume, and we got a lot more leads. That's CBO right there. Does that make it feel like you should be doing CBO all the time? That's what they're trying to do. The reality is that that's not the case. You shouldn't be doing that all the time like that because it's gonna put in danger some other things. So with CBO, Facebook will react to the performance of each of your ad sets. It will then adjust your ad spend more or less per ad set to get the most results. In short, CBO allows you to set a centralized campaign budget to be distributed algorithmically across all the ad sets within a campaign. That's a difficult word, algorithmically. Whereas ad set budget optimization in ABO will continue to spend your set budget to get you the most results. We'll continue to spend that money nonstop. All right, so you guys, everybody has this thing right here, which is a budget optimization toggle. When you turn that on, that campaign, you cannot go back. You cannot toggle it off later on. That's the one chance to determine whether you do CBO or ABO on the campaign creation process, but you cannot turn it on afterwards or turn it off afterwards. You either do CBO or ABO, and it is decided in that brief moment in time. All right, so you select it over here based on what you're trying to accomplish. If you select this thing and you leave it on, as you can see here, it gives you this option here. This option is only visible when you turn that thing on. If it's on, you select it here. If this one is off, you select it individually per audience that you put in. And the budget, is, it could be anywhere from $5 to thousands of dollars a day, depending on how many audiences that you create, and also depending on how many dollars you put into every single audience. That's the major difference right here. So at that moment, you decide that particular point right there. So when should you use it? Let's get into the mechanics of that. CBO is useful for all campaigns running at one level of the funnel. For example, that is to say prospecting only or retargeting only. So either you're looking for leads or you're building a retargeting campaign. We don't recommend that use CBO for campaigns combining both objectives, prospecting or retargeting, as this will likely deliver most of the budget to the retargeting ad sets and short and short change the prospecting ad sets, which will leave the top of your funnel empty. On the other hand, ABO is useful for the top of the funnel campaigns where you are testing new audiences or ad sets. Very important. My favorite thing to do with ABO is testing find new audiences. Because if you let Facebook with a CBO find you new audiences, they generally do a crappy job of discovering new audiences for you. So you wanna make sure that you control that process of discovering new audiences along the way. So when you're trying to find top of the funnel audiences, for example, people to visit your website, people to watch videos for the first time, that you're trying to create a nurture process, when you are um, generating subscribers on Messenger, top of the funnel, you wanna start optimizing your campaigns individually per ad set, because that way you can easily know which one is a good one that you can scale later on into a CBO itself, right? So testing is the best way to do it. So when setting up a CBO, start with three to four audiences that are similar in type and size, Set up your CBO campaigns based on funnel stages to get accurate results. Don't mix prospecting, top of the funnel audience with custom audience within a single CBO. And also don't mix a lookalike cold audience with your website's custom audience that is already familiar with your brand because now you have 
a top of the funnel audience and you have a middle of the funnel or bottom of the funnel audience mixed in and you definitely want to have a separation between these two if you're marketing to create new audiences concentrate on marketing to create new audiences if you're marketing a campaign to generate sales and purchases or leads from people that are already in your world make sure you focus on generating sales and purchases and leads from people that are already in your world so don't mix up the strategies so a few pros of using uh, cbo better budget allocation why because you're putting four or five audiences in there uh, and then you let facebook do its thing and they're going to put the money where you're getting the most results uh, it could be higher volume or it could be lower cost it depends on the algorithm but they generally put the money where you are going to get the most benefit from so better budget allocation less manual work you can set it and forget it just optimize it once in a while make sure that it's, it's running okay one thing that i will tell you right now is that you're not going to be able to keep on plugging in audiences on that cbo because if you this is important to understand when you're running a cbo campaign you have cbo over here and you plug in i know on the earlier slide it said start with whatever you start with on a cbo you stick with it all right whatever you start with on a cbo you stick with it let me explain to you why campaign budget optimization look at those three words campaign this is the whole thing over here budget optimization if you have a thousand dollars all right for the entire campaign to split in all these audiences and facebook starts getting you results and they start putting the energy and allocating the budget of the thousand dollars here and here a little bit here a lot more here and they start putting all that money in there and you're getting results from these results and this thing is adding up boom 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 and you're getting results and then you get greedy and you get excited and you're like I want to get more results because this campaign is working the moment instantly that you add a new audience the dreaded nightmare of all Facebook marketers occurs you reset the learning phase you go back to square one so if you're just getting started with the campaign budget optimization and you want to plug in a couple more audiences that's okay if the campaign is already rolling and you're getting results you do not touch it if you want to test out new audiences you start the process all over again on a new campaign why because you're optimizing at the budget at the campaign level the other one you're optimizing at the asset level so at the asset level abo you can continue adding individual audiences without a problem because the whole campaign is not being influenced by what happens to one single audience. You can get results for $10 a lead on one and $1 a lead on the other one, and they don't necessarily help each other out. In general, the entire ad account helps each other. Every single thing that you have going on because Facebook gets more data along the way. But individually, at the micro level on the campaign, you're not going to be able to keep the same results if you mess with a successful CBO campaign by adding a new audience in there. So when you start with a CBO and you're getting results and you're excited about it, leave it alone and just let it continue rolling and you can increase the budget at the campaign level, that's okay, but not add new audiences in there because otherwise you go back to square one instead of just creating a new campaign and starting from scratch. Very important note on this thing, right? So less amount of work, no audience overlap. So very quickly, if you guys don't know what that means, is that on ABO, all right, if you have this thing going on, this is audience overlap right here. This is overlapping, okay? So a little bit of people here, you see and a little bit from here and a little bit from here and so on they might belong to both audiences 
And if they belong to both audiences, you are competing against yourself. And that drives the cost of advertising up. So CBO will help you get rid of that. It takes away the overlapping. For example, if you do a split test, there is no audience overlap. We've been talking about that for a while. You wanna avoid split uh, overlapping, a split test. There's actually a feature in the Facebook Business Manager, we're gonna put it on the list. There's a feature on overlap where you can see your campaigns and how much overlap they have. And when you have more than 10% overlap, you have a problem. If you have uh, very little overlap, that's normal. But if you have 10% of people watching your ads on two different audiences, then you have a problem because the cost is gonna go up. So the CBO gets rid of audience overlap, and that's another good thing. So if you have, for example, if you have um, website visitors, and then you have video watchers, many of these guys belong to both. That makes sense, right? Because some people visit your website and they also watch your videos. So if you have an ABO, people that watch your videos and visited your website are gonna have two separate opportunities to watch your content and you're gonna be competing for that spot and bidding against yourself. When you have a CBO, website visitors get one audience and they don't cross over to the next one. And even if they're on this one, they do not get marketed a second time. So you have individual audiences without CBO. So that's a very big pro on the CBO campaigns, which is the same thing that we used to get when we did split testing campaigns. So better use of, uh, of the Facebook algorithm also, because Facebook is gonna be working for you uh, on the ABO, that doesn't exactly happen like that. You have to put your own work on the audience and just let Facebook perform at the ad set level. Pros of using ABO, controlled ad spend on audience ad set and get results faster. Important, if you need results fast, ABO is the way to go. If you're running a promotional campaign for a flash sale deal, let's say that you're running a Labor Day special or you're running a, what do we have upcoming, a Halloween special or anything that you have going on, ABO is gonna help you spend the money faster if you wanna get to more audiences and not let Facebook suppress your reach. Because on the CBO, there might be an audience that you really want to reach that you're not gonna be able to reach because Facebook is gonna do what they think is right for your system. All right, so it depends on what you're trying to accomplish. If you want fast results, nothing is gonna beat the ABO uh, system. <laughs>